Welcome to Podcast Coaching for Kingdom Entrepreneurs. I'm Kristen Fields Chadwick, your podcast coach on this transformative podcasting journey. Our mission, empower kingdom entrepreneurs to confidently launch and grow podcasts, fostering a journey of being seen, being heard, being known, and making a lasting kingdom impact. This is Podcast Coaching for Kingdom Entrepreneurs. Your voice matters. Welcome back, everybody. I am so glad you have joined me this whole summer series. We are on our final step on how to start a podcast series. Step 10. Wow, you guys, we have made it. Okay, so last week we talked about mastery, and this week we're going to be talking about cultivation. And these two words, master and cultivate, they were placed on my heart uh, last late fall, early winter as my words for this season. And it is still my words for this season. And it has so perfectly fit to place these two words at the end of this 10 step series because it is the epitome of how you grow a podcast after you have launched. So I hope you have enjoyed this whole series. I'm going back to step one and step two. That's really the foundation of any podcast to launch and how to grow your podcast. So I want you to remember, we started with who is your who? Uh, That's where we start is starting with your who. Who are those people that God has called you to Uh, speak to, to encourage, and uh, really coming back to that basic question as you are launching a podcast, as if if you have launched a podcast and you're on episode two, three, four, and furthermore, uh, for the rest of podcasting, you need to be asking who is your person, who is resonating with your podcast, and who needs more support, and who who are you finding to be your people. And so often I find that podcasters who launch a podcast, they so desire to reach the world. Um, and, and rightfully so you guys, as believers, we are called to shine our light. We are called to be light into this world. We are called to create in kingdom impact, but we also have to start with, with a very particular focus on helping the one that's right in front of you. That's where you're going to find the most traction. Now, writing and creating content for your podcast, you want to make sure that you're you're specifically talking to that one person. I'm thinking right now I have a podcast client who is one of our podcast management clients, and she speaks specifically to young mothers. And she's always talking about coming and sitting right in front of an actual person, like she still mentors in real life, these young women, and she has conversations with them. It should be that real that we are connecting with people on a day-to-day basis with our listener. And if we're not, I would reevaluate who you're talking to or where is God calling you to be? We need to, in real life, interact with the people that we're called to serve and to uh, create content for as a podcaster. So even as I create this episode for you, I'm thinking of a very specific podcaster who's about to launch and what I would tell her in this step 10 process. And throughout this whole series, it has been one person and the many women that I have, I have coached that are very particular, have a very particular, um, focus and niche about them. And so I'm going to create content that's going to speak to her. Uh, I'm not trying to get uh, the whole world right now. My focus is to speak to the one. So I want you to think about that as you are creating content moving forward. Um, And even like how I say something, it might be a very applicable conversation to the world. And there's a very particular vernacular that I'm going to speak specifically to that person versus a generic audience of podcasters who have launched questions. So once you have launched, another common question that I get as a podcast coach is how do I grow my podcast? And serving the people that God has put in front of you is going to be the way that you grow your podcast. 
I even just went through a whole training as a certified podcast growth podcaster um, coach. And I will tell you that even through all of that, you know what the best way to grow your podcast, it's going to be your people sharing. So think about this concept. Uh, and I've, I've probably already mentioned this in this series multiple times, but I want you to think about Netflix. The last thing that you have shared on Netflix or Disney Plus or Hulu, whatever it was, TV show, the reason that you shared it was because you thought of a specific friend that would enjoy that show, right? It's these one-on-one connections. And even in like, if you think about, hey, have you tried that new restaurant in town? You're speaking friend to friend and thinking of that person that they would benefit from hearing this podcast, from watching this TV show to going to this restaurant and that you want them to enjoy it. So that referrals is what I'm speaking about more than any other avenue. Referrals, referrals, referrals. And how do people refer you? Like what's the reasoning why people refer you is because they enjoy you and they want others to experience you and what you have to offer. So again, creating a mastery mindset, right? Cultivating our skills as a podcaster, whatever field it is, whether it's you're a health and fitness coach, or you are a Bible study uh, leader, or you are a mentor or a coach, you are going to continue to make yourself better and better and better in that field. More than social media referrals, more than um, paid advertisement referrals will always be the best way to grow your podcast. So how do we get those referrals? Again, creating mastery and cultivating relationships with the people that are inside of our podcast community already. And we have this honor to serve the listener that's already in front of us. They are a person. They are not a download number. They are actually a human being that is dedicated 15 to 45 minutes of their time, depending on how long your podcast episode is, to listen. Like right now, you're listening to me inside of your ears. You could have your AirPods on. You could be on a walk listening. You could be listening while you're doing dishes. And and to me, that is such an honor to have dedicated time inside of your head in a very unique position, a very intimate position. And so we have to take a step back and understand that that is a very unique opportunity and time that we get to use wisely. So again, coming back to this word of cultivating, cultivating means to foster growth. It means to improve by labor. Like this is the Merriam-Webster dictionary. It means to care. It means of study, to further, to encourage, to nourish. And I, I was up last night, you guys, thinking about this conversation that I wanted to record of how do I explain cultivating? And of course, I'm thinking of a gardener, like cultivating means you're tilling the soil, you're you're nourishing the soil. There's a difference between dirt and soil. Soil has nutrients. So what are those those soil activities that you're doing to encourage, to further uh, grow your listener, to improve. You want them to listen to your podcast episode and feel hope. As believers, we are called to bring hope and light and joy and belonging and togetherness. As we are doing this, as we are cultivating a community of of people that are listening to our podcasts, that's how we cultivate and bring community together. Um, It reminds me too, as I was thinking about this last night, (laughs) uh, thinking about the word cultivate and how to explain it well, I was thinking about how in the beginning in Genesis, it talks about be fruitful and multiply. And that is a commandment from the Trinity. We are called to be fruitful and multiply. But in order to be fruitful, you guys, we have to abide in him. And that's the other part is I continually go back to John 15, where he's just talking about, I am the vine and you are the branches. And in that deep 
uh, connection with Holy Spirit, with Jesus, with the Father. That's where multiplication happens. That's where um, we do get to be fruitful and we get to multiply. Another thing too, which was wild after I recorded last week's episode, one of my favorite podcasters that I like to listen to um, that doesn't have to do with uh, with podcasting um, is called Wild at Heart Ministries. And my husband is really involved in it. And I happened to jump on Instagram and saw a reel from them from their last podcast. And he was talking about, John Eldridge was talking about fierce mastery. And it actually applies to be fruitful and multiply. In the Hebrew original word, it means fierce mastery. So again, after your listeners start to listen to your podcast, you want to invite them into, because we're being fruitful and multiplying, we're, we're sharing the knowledge that God has given us, this message that we're called to deliver, and we are handing it off and encouraging those around us. And so we're inviting them into a community. So how do we do that? Um, so I'm going to explain it in the way of how I do this inside of this podcast. So in this podcast, I invite you into a free Facebook community with other Christian podcasters. It's a free group. It's called Podcast Coaching for Kingdom Entrepreneurs. You can jump inside there, introduce yourself, be in a like-minded community, all there to uh, just share uh, and encourage one another. We talk about what's our favorite podcast, what's the p- favorite podcast tools, various different things inside of that group. So there is that community in there. Now then there's one step further, which is a paid membership. And that is more for people who are podcasters and they want to invest in coaching and accountability together with other podcasters. So that could be an idea for you as you are launching your podcast. I see this uh, commonly with, with podcasters where they will launch a podcast, grow a free group, and then develop a free membership. And it works so well, especially if you're serving that one and it multiplies to two, to four, to eight. That's how you cultivate community. Another example would be Maybe you create a Mighty Networks group um, if you don't like Facebook. So another podcaster of mine, she's one of our podcast members, and she has a an assessment tool that she mentions inside of her podcast episode. And then once people take the assessment tool, she offers some coaching, like a 15 minute review over that. And then she invites them into a low price monthly membership inside of her Mighty Networks group to go deeper into a Bible study together. So she is nurturing and cultivating and creating a sense of belonging through her group to encourage, to nourish that soil, to be fruitful and multiply. And for those women to invite other women. Okay. So again, coming back to the importance of cultivating your podcast village. That's basically your listeners that are growing, growing by the minute, and you want to create some sort of belonging. Okay. I want to share with you a little story that occurred. Um, Man, this was at the beginning of the year. There were multiple things that had happened, but this story I knew was going to come around again for me to use uh, as a podcaster because it's all about community. So one morning, my neighborhood, so this is my community, right? There's a little cul-de-sac in our neighborhood. Um, a bunch of moms, a couple of older couples that have been here for ages. And the house right next door to our house was empty um, as it had just been renovated and was waiting for the next uh, rental family to come in. And we noticed that as soon as I woke up, I noticed the light was on at this empty house. And I was like, that is very bizarre. It's like five o'clock in the morning. Why is there light on? Maybe somebody showed the house yesterday and left the light on. But I remembered the night before there was no light on before I went to bed. So first, first notice of like, hmm, that's interesting. Then another neighbor of mine um, walked by walking her kids to school and she noticed that the front door was open 
and the glass was broken into the kitchen like a rock had gotten thrown in. So she walked over to the door um, knowing that nobody was living there. And so she heard somebody inside. Long story short, you guys, this story is absolutely crazy, the whole thing. But there was a man inside of this house totally destroying this brand new renovated house and really on drugs um, and just destroyed this house. It was a whole thing. It was crazy. So we called the management company that was in charge. We called the owners that owned the house uh, who were renting. And then we also ended up calling the police who then brought in the SWAT team to get this young man out of this house um, and arrest him. So between all of the neighbors, here's my story. The cultivating community, because that established, that was already established in our neighborhood, we had already established a community together that we had each other's backs. So because when we create this community, how does this do, like, how does this coordinate with, with a podcaster? When you're launching a podcast and you start to build this community, you're cultivating a community, whether God's given you a little garden plot, a little garden box, or he's given you a field, what's happening is that he is giving you the opportunity to encourage, to come alongside, to really help each other pull out the weeds that are not needed. And like in our neighborhood, as this break-in happened, we noticed something was off right away because we knew each other. We all had cultivated this sense of belonging, this safety within us. And as soon as something was off, we all called each other. We started texting each other. Um, We knew immediately that there was something that needed to happen to create safety again. So in your podcast, what I'm going to encourage you, whether it's you personally finding a podcast community of other podcasters who can... Um, come alongside you and show you your blind spots or encourage you when you need encouraging or to be there to be like, hey, I noticed that when you did this podcast, excuse me, this podcast episode, um, you forgot to mention this. What if you did this? And so that is serving you as a podcaster. Now, when you're creating a community for your own podcast, that's what you're creating is this sense of safety. So again, coming back to another example of a podcast management uh, client of ours who is the uh, Christian mentor to young moms. She has a community where they can send in these SOS of like, hey, my my 12-year-old is having such a hard time. I need prayer. Awesome. That's how you create community community is you're there for one another when things go off course or um, they need somebody to help solve a problem or they need a an encouraging older mom to encourage them that hey you're gonna make it through this too so again I I love giving examples because I feel like when you do give examples it really hits home so here's another example um So say you're a life coach that helps women who are going on the opposite end. They're, they're walking through the empty nest syndrome. And when you think of that person, if they just started a podcast and they are creating, starting to create and cultivate a community, how can you best nurture those women who are feeling a sense of purposelessness Maybe they feel loss, they feel grief, they feel um, in the midst of transformation. Maybe they're excited, but they don't know where to go. Maybe they're feeling, uh, who knows? If you're creating a community where it literally starts with just one, you are creating a space for that person to feel seen, heard, and known. And if you've heard me at all, in these last 10 steps in the series, 
the heart behind this podcast and any of my podcasters is that they feel seen, heard, and known. And the people that you're called to serve, they feel seen, heard, and known because every single person on this planet deserves to be seen, heard, and known. And we get to build a community and to cultivate and to nourish those people. And that is a privilege. And I encourage you, if you have not, maybe you're brand new to this this podcast and you've listened to this podcast series, I encourage you to go back to, there's a couple of episodes that are, I think, key components to understanding your positioning as a podcaster. Number one is you belong in the room. Go check that episode out. And number two, you are called to deliver a message. Those two episodes are pivotal in your growth and through breaking through just um, some ceilings that we put on ourselves because you are making a difference. You are going to make a, a kingdom impact and it's going to start with one and again, be fruitful and multiply. And that is God's call on all of our lives. And how do we do that? It starts with one one times two, two, two times two is four and continuing to multiply and multiply and multiply and serving the people that God has called for you to serve. Okay, my friend, you have made it through the 10 steps on how to start a podcast series. Oh, this is going to be so, so good for you. And, and I want to hear, so please connect with me again on Instagram this week, I want to know if you have walked through uh, each of these steps and how I can further help you in that. If you want to launch your podcast, I can help you. If you want to grow your podcast, I can help you. Again, if you want to be a part of the free community, follow me inside of Facebook, Podcast Coaching for Kingdom Entrepreneurs. Uh, if you want to take it even further now that you've launched your podcast, I would love to to have you inside of our podcast membership community. And I look forward to continuing to help you along this journey as you build and grow your podcast. And that's it for now. Thanks for connecting. I love you guys and I will see you next week. Thanks for listening today. Hey, I want you to know that there's an opportunity for you and I to connect. I would love to do that. Find a link below and we can schedule a one-on-one free 15 minute consultation. I want to hear where are you in your podcasting journey and how can I help serve you and help you bring that kingdom impact dream into reality.